and we'd be hard to capture. But what I didn't realise was just the generosity of the British public and, and how kind people are. And I think with all the doom and gloom in the world, we forget we're in a but, really good country. And, but and is, that, is, that because, time, is that because they recognised you? I mean, would they be that kind to any stranger <laughs> that was hiding in their bin in their back garden? Maybe not. I mean, it probably does help that, you know, you, you explain who you are. And, and, and for myself and Richard, we were lucky people did recognise us. But people genuinely went out of their way to, to really help us. And not all of it made the final edit, but one, one person who stands out, and I'd love to try and find her. We were on a train from Chelmsford to a place called Walton on the Nays, and we were being chased by the hunters. And as I got off the train, an elderly lady stood up and she said, good luck, dear, just don't stop running. And I said, oh, do you know what this is about? And she was like, you're you and Thomas. I'm assuming this is Hunter, the programme. And I said, yeah, can, can you help us? Can we stay in your house tonight? And she goes, oh, I, I can't, I'm not going home. And she opened a purse and she took out the £10 note and that's all she had. And she said, please have a hot hot dinner on me this evening. And it and it made me break. I started crying because it just reminded my, of me of my grand back in the day trying to sneak me some pocket money. And I didn't get the lady's name. I don't know who she was. She was an elderly lady. And if I could find her, I would just want to give her a hug and, and buy her some flowers and just thank her. for Give her a tenner so back. <laughs> yeah, do you know, do you know tenor, yeah. So many people just, helped us. You brought up a subject there that is in the news today and I was going to ask you about, and that is uh, there's a big fall in cash, people who accept cash and people who take cash. Mm. And yet, if you were to use a card, you would be tracked down almost immediately, immediately. as a result yes. of it. So cash is king in the haunted world. Run. Yeah, cash is king, unless you're smart and you, and you give someone else your cash card to use in a different location so the hunters think you're there. There were certain things we did, but yeah, cash was king. And, and I did something with Richard, which was maybe stupid, but I thought brave. On the initial first day, we came straight to my house, which is kind of a bit ludicrous, but I did it because I knew we could pick up supplies, sleeping bags, some money, um, some food. So we actually did come home to my house in Southampton, and then we got on a boat and got out of there. So, yeah, we played a smart game. But as I said, th this, this weekend's episode is, is pretty scary. And also for me, and I'm not afraid to say it, I have a bit of a meltdown on camera, and I I'm quite proud I did that because – Look, we've all got a breaking point, and I think my whole career it's been about trying to be mentally and physically this big and strong guy who nobody can beat and get inside my head, and and that's not true. You know, I'm just like a I'm just like a young boy inside who was who, who was feeling insecure and scared at times, and and I have a real wobble on this final episode, and I've had so many people message me to say thank you. I watched that with my teenage son, and and they now know it's okay for a, for a big strong guy to to be able to cry and and feel lonely and feel feel you know scared and I, and I was scared at times because yes it's a tv show we're doing it for a fantastic reason stand up to cancer but it was a scary experience it really was well, yeah it just shows you were under pressure and it sounds like good tv it does doesn't it? Um,